All right, we had Gilbert Burns versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. This was a good fight, man. Stylistically, it was interesting because we know that right now we're all trying to figure out who can beat Kamara Usman. Who, who can beat Kamaru, huh? Who can get him? And people were talking about Steven because of the karate style, the length, and just, you know, his unique ability. I mean, he's one of those guys that you're not, you know, accustomed to seeing that style of fighter. And he's very dynamic in terms of his kicking ability. We've seen the knockouts that he's been able to have. But at the same time, you know, we saw when he fought Tyron, uh, Tyron Woodley, and, you know, it, it kind of was a little bit of a boring fight just because Steven isn't as aggressive. He doesn't like to lead the dance. He really loves the counter guys, right? But when he's forced to lead, it makes him not as aggressive, and ultimately it makes the fight not as entertaining, and that was the knock when he fought Tyron Woodley. But it was interesting to see Gilbert Burns take a very similar approach to what Tyron Woodley did. The difference was this now. With uh, Tyron, Tyron waited and made Steven be the aggressor, made him lead the dance, and ultimately Tyron was able to pick him apart, land some really good shots. But like we said, it was kind of a boring fight. What Gilbert did, similar with some of the picking of the punches and picking of the shots, but he decided to actually shoot takedowns in this. So whenever Steven would get a little bit aggressive or you would see, you know, just in the middle of an exchange, that's when Gilbert would actually go and take these legs. And that was the part that, to me, was a different approach, but was very smart by Gilbert because Gilbert knew that once he got Steven on the ground, Steven's ability to be dangerous drastically decreases once he got put on the ground. And you could see that. I mean, even when Steven would be up against the cage and trying to fight off the takedown, Gilbert would shoot from the double to a single leg, get him down now. He's able to control him now. He's able to land some very significant shots. Now, he never hurt Steven even in his ground and pound. It never got to the point where you're seeing blood and it's getting gory or the threat of a stoppage, but he always controlled Steven. And that was the interesting part. So first two rounds were pretty much identical. Then you get the third round and now you're getting Steven being extra aggressive, especially early on because he knows, okay, I'm down two rounds to zero and it's only a three round fight, which I wasn't a fan of, by the way. I, I really thought that as the co-main should have been a five rounder, but that's neither here nor there. So Going into that third round, like I said, Steven comes out, he's a lot more aggressive, but once again, Gilbert, perfectly timing it up, takedown. I mean, three takedowns on Wonderboy, that, to, I mean, actually, that's the most times that Wonderboy has been taken down in a UFC fight, and if you're talking about for Gilbert, that was a personal best for Gilbert in terms of, uh, in terms of securing three takedowns in that fight, so, or excuse me, securing three takedowns in any fight, because Gilbert typically doesn't do a ton of wrestling, but it was actually good to see that he does know how to wrestle at a really good level. I mean, we saw that on display. He really was able to control that fight from that area. But the thing that I want to know afterwards, right, because it was a unanimous win for Gilbert, and he looked good, right, especially coming off of the performance that he had against Kamaru, where Kamaru was able to essentially stop him in the second round, devastating fashion. It was good to see him mentally recover from that and physically show another side of his game. But the part that's going to be interesting for him is who does he fight next? After the fight, they asked him, man, who do you want to see? Because his most recent fight outside of Wonder Boy was against the champ. And we don't want to see him fight the champ again that soon. I personally don't. I'm good on that. But he did name a couple of guys that made it interesting. Street Jesus, Jorge Masvidal. I would like to see that. He also brought up Nate Diaz and Leon Edwards. Now, that's the name for me that I would be extremely excited to see. Leon Edwards versus Gilbert Burns. I would love it because we've seen both of those guys fight Kamaro, and Kamaro obviously beat both of those guys. Now, granted, Leon was a lot younger in his career when that fight took place, so it would be a lot more interesting now at this stage. But it's still question marks about Leon, right? Really hasn't been as active, hasn't had that signature win. And even when he beat Nate, even though it was a unanimous decision, Nate caught him at the end. So we really haven't seen Leon get this, you know, very worthy track, uh, this very worthy record of, you know, opponents that he's had to go, uh, had to go through. So I could see Gilbert Burns and him fighting. But for Leon, I still feel like you got to hold out for that belt fight, man. You got to go and get you one because... Otherwise, you're going to end up being like Tony Ferguson, where you have this 13-fight win streak, you're going crazy, but you never get a chance to fight for the belt because you get beat in the, the, you know, the fight before it, or you get hurt, or something goes wrong. It's only so many times you can play that game with fate. So that's the thing I would be cautious about if I'm Leon. But for Wonderboy, this is another part where he's just like, 
I mean, he's what, 38 years old. Now, I know that is old for MMA, but at the same time, you think about Glover, uh, Glover Teixeira, man. He's, what, 42, and he's got himself right back in the conversation to fight for the belt. So if you're Wonder Boy, it's not the end of the world, but it's not the best situation either because we were all looking forward to him potentially beating Gilbert Burns to see him fight Kamaru Usman because there will be a different style versus somebody we haven't seen before. But instead, it looks like we're probably going to get Usman versus Kobe Covington, which I'm not against, but I still think that Usman is going to get the job done again. So either way, man, I enjoyed that fight as well. But let me know your thoughts on that fight, man. Let me know, you know, who you want to see Gilbert go against next as well. And what do you think happens with Steven, man? Is it over for him? Or could we potentially see him still in that title conversation a year or two down the line? But either way, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.